All right, we are standing here with Ann, Dr. Ann E. Killebrew, who is actually the co-director of this site and um, really the one who got this um, moving, the excavation, and the brainchild behind it. And so, Ann, why are we back at ACO? ACO is, I think, the key to understanding the archaeology of the Levant. We, we're here at a maritime center, the only natural seaport in the southern Levant. O ACO, throughout most of its history, was really the gateway between the West, the Europeans, the Mediterranean, and the Middle East. And here you are at the crossroads of the Via Maris. You continue eastward, you can go into the uh, Jordan Valley, the Transjordanian Highlands, the King's Highway, which would link up with Mesopotamia, Egypt. So we're really here at the cross, uh, at several major crossroads that link the entire eastern Mediterranean region. And you have been banding about the term total archaeology. Would you unpack that for us? <laughs> total archaeology. It's, it really means that seeing it's, it's doing archaeology in, in its entire context, not just uh, our specific research interests, not just my interest in the late Bronze and Iron Ages, but really integrating it with what's going on in Akko today, the new city, the old city of Akko, the communities, the interest in developing this region for tourism. We just had uh, one of the representatives of the tourism department come out and, and visit us and he's they're very interested very keen and really presenting Akko in its entirety from the third millennium from the early bronze age all the way through the modern times and so why um, so Akko does it hold any special place for you personally oh personally well this has been my lifetime dream and I really feel that I'm I'm living my dream right now I'm not even sure if I'm awake but it's been my dream for many years to come back to Akko I dug here as a Five years ago as a young student. It's a fabulous tell. It's, uh, I think, the richest tell that I ever excavated at. You have the combination of the Mediterranean Sea here. You have everything, anything you could ever want from an archaeological perspective. And finally, uh, I was in a position with the help of Tammy Schneider and Martha Risser and others who were involved in this project to begin to approach this site both on a research level, on a public archaeology level, on a conservation level, on kind of, we were talking earlier today about using this site as almost like a, a laboratory for attacking or addressing the issue. How do you preserve an archaeological tell, particularly when you do these deep sections or deep trenches through them? Uh, and no one up until now has been able to come up with a solution to that issue, and we have some ideas. Do you want to talk about any of those ideas, or we're still working on them and they're too early to, to broadcast? Well, uh, my personal dream is to create a time tunnel through this deep section, which is right here behind Tammy Schneider, through this massive Middle Bronze Age fortification system, and really use this as the entryway into the history, the archaeology of the Tell, where people would go through the different periods of time, starting in this area from the Middle Bronze Age, the Late Bronze Age, where this area was used as an, in, in, uh, an industrial area. We have metal working, we have signs of pottery manufacture here, into the Phoenician period, we have quite a few few remains of the Phoenicians here, the Persian period, which is, is especially significant at this tell, and into the Hellenistic period. So we see this as kind of almost like the, I would say, the window into the history of the tell, and the idea of a time tunnel where you could really create the experience of going back in time. Maybe I watched too many, you know, movies when I was a youngster, these time tunnels, time travel, that got me excited, but I think it is possible to do that and combine it with a research project, a conservation project, a presentation project, an educational project. And this is what I think all of us are hoping to do while we're here. And so we are going to excavate with the idea of total archaeology with an end in mind that incorporates um, everybody for both in the public and in the, um, in the ac uh, academic um, realm, shall we say. Thank you very much. We'll be hearing more from you later. <laughs>